What is the most underrated thing on my list that I would love to bring a little bit up? Also, there's a limit to my message limit, so I can't actually have as many entries as I want. I would have to do multiple messages. I don't think that's a big deal, honestly. I should be, because if you do multiple messages fast enough, just like with this thing, it actually attaches quite well you only see a small gap, so I, I don't think that's a big deal at all. I should have a full list technically, but I don't I don't care, honestly. It's still hard to actually split the list. Anyways, we have Flat Earth. I still think it's underrated, but there's not enough content because all the content is uh, downgraded because of YouTube it's hidden somewhere and I just don't care to find it and trying to find it on different platforms it's just not good enough YouTube just has a very good search way way to search videos but with flat earth it's just it's completely banned pretty much Deep Rock Galactic, we have done that. Games just kind of entered the list in general. I think I have Need for Speed somewhere as well. Yeah, it's pretty high up here. So things like that are pretty OP. But it's not underrated, it's just something I will not play ever, ever again, potentially. Yeah, potentially we could play another Need for Speed game, but I would I wouldn't care. I wouldn't give a fuck. I I didn't even finish playing the Need for Speed that I have. Need for Speed. That's uh, that's a lot though for one game. For one Need for Speed game, that's a lot. Twenty ninth place. Ridiculous. I think the most underrated thing that I have is Tiffany Allward. I could stick, still check her songs and everything. Also, PewDiePie is definitely underrated. I did not check his channel yet. So that's something to look forward to. But I am leaving him for later. Or should I do that? Game theory is overrated, underrated, I mean, because I didn't check the other two channels, which is film theory and food theory. So this, this guy has a long way to go. I did not check Anthony's channel too much. He has some points to gain, but it's, it's only interviews and interviews I would just put it in the background while I play a game or something. So it's kind of hard to actually watch uh, properly and give points properly. Unless it's very interesting, the game would always win over the, uh, the con that Anthony makes. And Ian just kind of is a meme. As you can put their names together. And they have been working together. So that's why I did that. Ian is a meme because he doesn't actually create content on his own. He still works with Smosh pretty much. I wish Anision would not be on the list and not be making videos. He is making some videos right now, but it's it's not as it used to be. He used to be pretty cool. A lot of videos of his has been deleted too, so I cannot just look back into the past. Uh, it's kind of disappointing, honestly. And it's all because of those stupid people who hate Onision. It happened, you know. He deleted a bunch of videos. I'm not sure why. 
but it happened. Why does Sniper Wolf have 940 bonus points? Let's double check that. As a TikTok? Oh my god. TikTok 20%, dude. And TikTok is on rice, too. It's right here. TikTok 20%, though? Uh, see, the thing is with Sniper Wolf. You would rather watch Sniper Wolf instead of TikTok. So it has a big re it's and she makes TikTok videos technically. Right? Videos that f she gathers from TikTok. So she gets a huge boost. Incredibly big boost. One of the biggest boosts ever. Uh, like uh, like a gaming boost because these are games right notch minecraft you have hearthstone you have fucking skyrim they have big boost because they they have big communities or yeah big communities but here you have sniper wolf that has a big boost because she fucking rips off tiktok fucking not fair dude not fair but still, she has incredible potential to rise up to TikTok's level because of the amount of videos she produces. And I, I did not watch all the videos. I do not watch her videos as they come out. It's... It would be too much for me. Too much, dude. Every single day, I would be looking forward to her videos. Too much. Fool us, I, I have done the video about them, right? Uh, and then I watched a bunch more videos that they have made. It's ridiculous the amount of content Fool us has. Wow, there's a glitch. For some reason, this, this thing, underscore, turned into italic font for this section here. It's it's weird. Makes no fucking sense. I think this is also italic too. How did that happen? Let's pick up Hailey Steinfeld. And let's pretend that she's the most underrated. Because she can climb all the way up. And see how far she can do it. Immediately she climbs one spot because... Uh, she was in pitch perfect two i guess or three i'm not sure which one she's definitely in the third one okay she's in the second one so yeah that's in both ones though did i not watch something also she has points in this name i use high i think i should be using highly Instead, transfer high to highly, please. And we have 900 more, more, more. Wait, link highly. It's Scott says. And we have 940, which puts her all the way up now. Uh, with with people you don't know about, okay? You don't know about them. Smosh. Cast-ish. And a schoolgirl that I like. <sighs> Let's just say Brooklyn and Bailey level. Can we go even higher? This is interesting. She explains why she's bad at aging. Back in the day... I would say over and over again that uh, Selena Gomez and Hailey Steinfeld and me are in the same personality spectrum. So uh, that's why we're bad at dating. We're all bad at dating, by the way. <laughs> I don't know, dude. It's just so funny to me. 
But I'm lazy. But what if she's lazy too for some reason? I mean, I created things. You don't have to be crazy talented and skillful and spend hours and hours to create. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> you can conquer your laziness sometimes. And technically, I'm not lazy. I'm making YouTube videos and everything. But I feel lazy compared to other people because I don't edit my videos. That's the whole point. We have reached 1,000 and we have reached uh, 55th place pretty much. But I did watch the most popular music and the best music that she has created. So I'm not sure where we go from here. I'm hoping in the end to watch a movie or something. Clearly I ran out of good songs at this point. 1050 and that is 52nd place all right let's watch edge of 17 and see what this is all about I I believe she was not 17 when this movie comes out she was 19. It's all fake, guys. I watched one fourth of the movie and got myself another 50 points, which gives me 47 place. We're rising pretty well. This is a part of a movie that stuck out to me, especially after I finished making families bullshit video it's it's kind of lame to see a plot where oh i don't have anyone that i can trust with this problem except you my son you're the only one people really put their life purpose on just making a family and forget uh Forget that they want to surround themselves with more people than just that, than just family. Uh, it's kind of weird, dude. Also, what are these words, dude? Sulky and morose? <laughs> what is it? First time I heard that. Moody and grim. Okay. And then I just another word of moody okay that's interesting see that's weird because the shit comes up in the movie one more time as well where uh, the, the main character loses her best friend and she doesn't have any more friends it's game over basically well well, she does try to find a boyfriend at the same time, which... Uh, <laughs> I guess it's her escape at this point. And he's, she's pretty successful, because she, she's a girl, you know, she can just text anyone and... <laughs> it will be completely fine, you're gonna have your, yourself a boyfriend easily. But the sad part, I completely feel... Uh, the main character for losing her best friend because that kind of happened to me my best friend was starting to date a girl and he spent way less time with me and that felt like fucking garbage it, I then I fuck oh my god there's a cat fucking screaming okay never mind you couldn't hear that did you Anyway, so yeah, my best friend started dating a girl, then I fucking entered their rela relationship. I wanted to see what's up. I was super frustrated. But, uh, and they had a fucking terrible relationship. Eventually they break up and all that, but, and I probably played my part too in this. I wasn't like too attracted to the girl. She was alright. Uh, 
but yeah, that's that's all I'm saying. It's just I, I feel the main character. I I would have. I kind of lost my best friend because of a girl too. It's just, and you don't really get best friends that easily, because you invest so much time into it. It's crazy. You you try to make a friend and you're trying to keep a friend, and because you know making a friend is pretty difficult. And it, when it falls apart, it's pretty fucking stupid. This brings us to 1150. What does that get us? Oh my god, that's so far away. Almost Mr. Beast level. Place 40. We just beat I Justine for some reason. She's so high up there. Cool. And then she realizes that I don't want to get to know you. I just want to get have sex with you because you texted me awkwardly, and I said you're so sweet. <laughs> Why? It's, it's the weirdest plot ever, man. I'm not buying it, but yeah, I guess men only think about sex. Ah, fucking weird, dude. I have never done it before. Uh, I'm really not a pervert myself. So, I, I don't understand anything. Oh yeah, I forgot the part that it was kind of her fault that he lo that she lost her best friend. She decided that, oh man, she, she, my best friend is hanging out with my uh, brother, so that means that she, she has to choose between me or him. Oh no. And I, I don't like that she chose him. Uh. Now she's like, oh, it's normal, I can do this. I like my brother now. <laughs> Some weird shit, dude. This this movie makes no fucking sense at all. But that's that's why I said, man, kids are evil, dude. They, they don't know shit. They they can't figure out basic logic, dude. I guess it had a happy ending. That's a that's something most movies don't have. Uh who cares? It was average. I'm not going to watch any more movies of her, because she kind of doesn't have any. There's Dixon, I think, but it's, it's, it's a series. I don't watch those at all. She's doing the Hawkeye. It's kind of weird, dude. I checked these out. They're, they're all suck. Uh, anything else? He, she didn't have a huge singing career. That, that kind of sucks, dude. She wasn't exclusively singing, but acting a, a bit more, I guess. Uh, and not active for two years. She doesn't deserve to be underrated. She is right where she needs to be, basically. Pretty high up on my list for no fucking reason. That's where she has to be. There's one redeeming quality a girl can have, and if she's really hot, then she's gonna get the points. That's what I want to find out next. Oh, half written stories out now. That is on her banner, basically. Look at me. But it's just five songs. Are you serious? Are you serious about this? My new project. It's not an album. It's just a project. Cool. Okay, so that was fun. She was pretty. But I think I exhausted all the resources just now, basically. 
I can always go back to like Selena Gomez and uh, dig deeper, but I, I think I exhausted Haley uh, just now. And she's uncomparable. It's, you can't compare Selena Gomez with her. Like way more music, way more pictures online. Uh, it's incomparable, but you know, Haley is average. She's pretty okay. Where is she right now on my list? Uh, we have 1,388. We have 33rd place, so all the way from 70 place. Place 70 all the way to 30. Three. Rival with Katy Perry now. Oh, wow. All right, this is the final score. 1479. All the way to 30. Position number 30. Alongside with ABGN, actually. A little bit lower. It's 31st position alongside Camila Cabelli. That makes sense. That makes sense. Although we never checked Camila Cabello, which probably is going to rise up all the way out of here. <laughs> Underrated. We'll see. All right. We haven't reached 300. I did not expect to reach this high anyways. But yeah, that's that's what music does, you know, it just cheats. I can click and listen to music and don't have to fucking watch the video. Uh, so you gain points a lot faster just because of that. If I have no games to play, then you fucking win. So I, I, I didn't. Ah, <sighs> okay. That's why Linkin Park got almost 500. I didn't, I didn't have a game to play. Even though I had plenty of music to listen to, I, I should have fucking nerfed it. And just played a game or something. Ah. <sighs> but yeah, this 300 is hard, even in this case. Alright. See you guys next time.